This legislation criminalizing same-sex sexual conduct exacerbates discrimination, violence against and general marginalization of sexual minorities. Women who have sex with women are vulnerable to the lesbophobia, remain vulnerable to assaults. We continue to see very high levels of violence, including mob attacks in recent times. Um, discrimination continues to be a major concern. There is continued evidence of police abuse, especially as it relates to homeless MSM, which are men who have sex with men. Existen testimonios de lesbianas que por su condición han sido maltratadas torturadas, agredidas verbalmente e incluso asesinadas por la intolerancia e ignorancia. The LGBT persons suffer from high levels of cruel, inhumane and degrading treatment, including a constant threat of violence from both state and non-state actors. Hemos encontrado eh, experiencias de internamiento forzoso para pre que pretenden curar la homosexualidad. I was sexually assaulted and my friend raped. There is a strong indication that what my friend experienced was a case of corrective rape, where heterosexual men rape lesbian and bisexual women to make them straight. And what's particularly troubling is that these hate crimes are the most violent types of hate crimes. 65% of reported hate crimes based on sexual orientation involve violence. In many cases, it's the police that takes care of actions that violate our rights. The police conducts persecutions to the LGBT community as if we were delinquents, harassing us verbally and stigmatizing us. They are not even minimally sensitized or capacitated about the subject, which translates into indifference, less respect and violence. They have not carried out any investigations nor generated hypotheses that contemplate the crimes of hate committed against us. Indeed, without serious reform, the entire LGBT community will continue to feel as though we have limited or no access to justice.